Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video and in today's video we're going to be going over the battle pass. It's not a battle pass but it kind of, it kind of is. It's like the motor pass, the Fortnite. Yeah, dog. Contractor episode 1, I'm excited to jump into it. It looks like there's a lot of new vehicles already. There is a taxi I see, there's a limousine which is kind of cool and there is another taxi. Where are you going? Who knows, we're going to go over the battle pass, go over the events, and uh, hopefully, 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 hope it's going to be good. Now, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but let's just go straight for it, guys. $7 or 1cc. Now that is a price I'd like to pay on all my cards, thank you very much. There we go, we've officially bought it. Marco's Cab, ladies and gentlemen, we officially own Marco's Cab. Well, anyway, the video in hand today is we're just going to have a gloss over everything. Let's start off with, and let's uh, jump into the uh, to the battle pass or the motor pass or whatever the fuck you call it. There we go, eighty thousand crew credits, and ouch, my wallet that hurt quite a bit. But we did get Deville Marco's cab, which I'm very excited for. We got some taxi cartoon smoke, which uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. And then we've got the half head helmet, which is another helmet I'm never gonna wear. So. Thank you very much for that, you so much appreciate it. Anyway, we're gonna jump straight into it. Uh, we're gonna go through all the tiers here. So for the tier two, let's have got the cartoon bang nitro. Am I gonna equip this on my car? No, I'm not. So take that for what you will. I mean, it to me they seem to be going more rocket league now than actual like uh, like cars, if you know what I mean. I don't really like the uh, sort of the direction they're going, but I mean if it works for them, it works for them. I'm more of like a realistic guy myself. I like my cars to be quite realistic. I do like some funky smoke. I have got some funky smoke. It is cool, but half of this stuff I'm just never going to use, I'm afraid. And it, and it kind of sucks, man. I wish there was more, I'd say, cosmetics towards the car guys of the crew. It seemed they, they seem to be steering more in the, um, the sort of animated, uh, over-the-top type, type stuff, which, which I'm not against. I mean... If people like it, people like it, but I just wish they appealed to like maybe a little bit more car guys. I don't know, they had like some really cool stretch tires and stuff like that because they have done it in the past. But yeah, enough enough waffling. Let's just jump straight into it. Like, what else we got? What the uh, taxi cartoon smoke? I don't really know what what is so cartoon about that, so I'm probably not going to put that on a car. But then again, it's another tire I've got. Uh, we've got the taxi room underglow. I don't apply any underglows or like that. I mean, I, it it doesn't make sense in my opinion. Like the underglow, surely the neons are going to be underneath the car. Like, how's it sticking out? It does remind me of a lot of Need for Speed World. If you boys have played that, with their kind of wacky underglows, we've got crew credits. Fair enough. The how to find a limo company fame set, which is quite good for the hypercars. Look, you've got. You got uh, bucks, followers, and magnets, so that's probably a really good uh, thing just to buy to get that. I mean, that's probably a good part there. Cartoon engine, can you hear it? Okay, whatever. Taxi tire, I like this. This is more simple. This is a tire I could actually put on a car. I do like that. It looks really cool. Cloud cartoon tint. Not a fan. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Got some more CC there. We've got some bonus bucks. Now, this is, oh, I like this. The limo. I think there needs to be more cars like this, man. You, know, you just don't see this in other games. I mean, this is really cool that they've got a, uh, a bloody SRT8 limo in there. Very cool. Ice underglow, the same. Never going to use it. Taxi outfit, kind of cool. Kind of a cool little outfit. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I noticed a lot of the the outfits on the motor pass are a little bit white, like a little bit weird. I'm not really a fan of them, but this I can I can get behind that. I can get behind that. We've got ice tire. Not a fan of that one bit, to be fair. It's cool, but I'm not going to put it on any cars. We've got 2000 CC, very nice. We've got an ice crack horn. Kind of cool, I guess. Uh, probably not going to put it on though. Taxi comic tire. Uh, this is kind of cool. I like I like these uh, these wheels. Anyway. They're kind of like custom wheels of tire sets. Uh, I do notice they've been doing a lot more of these, and I, I think these are really like kind of cool. There should be more of this kind of stuff. I think that really works. Uh, we've got some more credits that we're going to have. Uh, we've got another half helmet I'm probably not going to use. It's quite cool. Maybe a taxi bike might be coming. Who knows, boys, with all these half helmets. Uh, we've got motor stars. We've got crew credits. We've got 
taxi line on the glow. This is kind of cool. I just wish they were a little bit more in the car there just to make it a little bit more realistic. But I do like what they've done with that. We've got the paint splash underglow. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Very cool. Uh, we've got the cartoon hunt corner. Sounds like, a, sounds like a duck in my opinion, but yeah. Crew credits pack, more crew credits. We've got the paint splash tire. It's a cool tire. I'd say like a 6.9 build. Uh, you know, the wrapper 6.9. Kind of reminds me of that with like the his Ferrari. I might do that. I might make a Ferrari with that on it. But other than that, I can't really see me using that ever. Um, same with the paint splash tire. I mean, it's cool, but probably something. Um, probably something I'm never gonna do. If you boys hear the phone in the background, I'm sorry. I'm, um, I'm gonna be working right now, but I'm kind of doing this. So yeah. No, okay. Um, paint splash tint. Very cool. I like that. I like that. Cool. 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 We've got the crew credits pack again, 2000 CC. We've got the Quadrophilia Outclass Edition. And um, I'm gonna be honest, what are they thinking with this? It, it is rubbish. Why, I, I, why are we adding a stock car in the Battle Pass? That's what I would like to know. Like I understand I'm not adding anything new, so it's not paid to win. I completely understand that. And I understand why they don't, you know, why they always have other versions and they do like summit versions in here. But this is just, this is poor boys. I mean, come on, it's the same as the other one. I swear to God it is. Nothing looks different on that. Maybe the exhaust ring color, and that's about it. This is just a, it's a no from me, guys. I mean, I mean, you could at least wide body it. I don't know, add some cool, you know, fender, like some flares on the arches, add like a outrageous spoiler. Make it more crew to it. It's just the stock quadrophenia and green. And we have to pay for that. You know what I mean? It's just, ah, oh man. It, I think they just, that was a really poor car, this one. I'm not happy with that one bit. I mean, that's more of a Summit car than anything, in my opinion. There's not much to it. Um, what else have we got? We've got the Hypercar Fame Set 2. This is really good. I like that they've done this in here. I like that they add like little parts like this in there. We've got the Ancient Taxi Rooftop. Very cool. I like that. Got a horn. Oh, I guess the horn doesn't work. Uh, we've got the Rocket Co tire. Not too bad. Could be better. Um, we've got 50,000 bucks here. We've got the Rocket Co Nitro. This is really cool. I like what they've done with this Nitro, actually. It's quite cool. I probably won't use it. Or oh, maybe I'll use it on one car, but I like I like what they've done to it. It reminds me of the um, the Pixar car dude with the thing on his hat, on his, on his head. I don't know what you call it. Santa horn. Can't hear that, okay, fair enough then. We've got Marto's, Marco's Metal Detector. Um, probably never gonna use this, but it's really cool anyway. It's nice to have a full set there. We've got the Rocket Co Nitro. No, sorry, not the, uh, we've got the Rocket Co Underglow, which looks very cool. We've got a topper, which apparently moves side to side when you steer the car, which I think is awesome. I love this topper, it gives me, um, gives me them, what, what do we call it? I forgot, I forgot the thing, but. The, the, that Disney guy, that, that little Toyota, that one, it reminds me of that and I really do like that they've done that. And then finally we have got the Rocket Co service vehicle. For a tier 50 it's kind of cool. I like what they're doing with it. Uh, it's got some cool back stuff on it. I don't know. <laughs> Forgetting the name here boys, I'm, uh, it's early in the morning, too early for this. But yeah, very cool, I like it. It's got the white, white walls on it as well, which is really nice. If you could lower this, it'd be cool. You see, you've got the, the leaf springs down there, which is kind of kind of detailed. I like that. You've got the Rocket Co smoke. I like that. That's a very good smoke, in my opinion. Very cool. And finally, on the Battle Pass, you've got the Rocket Co outfit, which looks like I'm going to prison. So, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway, let's um, let's see what new cars they have got, ladies and gentlemen, because they hopefully they have some new cars in the collection, which we don't have. Uh, I don't have a lot of cars, boys. I haven't really played this game for a long time. But we have got the Coupe de Ville, a very cool Mafia style car there. I'm very happy that they added that in. They've also added in the Chevy 3100. There you go. Very cool. I like that a lot. You've got obviously the, the Battle Pass edition here, but I think this is cooler, to be fair. You, I bet you can lower this and make this look absolutely sick, which I can't wait to do. I can't wait to buy that. They've got the limo here. Like I said, it's just another cool vehicle that we're going to add to our collection. There we go. We have got the Crown Victoria. 
uh, the just the normal standard one for one hundred and thirty nine thousand, which is very cheap. And then we've got this, which is even cooler, which is the Crown Victoria limousine. So there's two limos, and this is a really cool limo. Really happy they added this in. This is awesome, honestly, boys. All right, so that's all the cars that they've added. I guess we'll go in and customize. Okay, I lied. I guess we won't go in and customize it, but let's see what liveries people have done already. You just got. Why does it all blacked out ones always get so many? Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's very cool. Let's go ahead and select this, and um, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Why is the horn not working? Is is my settings messed up or something? Why is right? Let's um, find our first event and see what it's all about. Drivers wanted, so I'm guessing this is the the event that they want us to do travel to okay so they've added like a new sort of taxi place here which is kind of cool details can we accept so there's a guy screaming but there's no one in my car which makes no sense to me i mean it's cool for a free roam event but like i said this would have been nice if it was something on the side for the new update like this is the whole update and it I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit bare bones. Um, yeah, I just, I just, um, I don't know. I just wish they add something a little bit more. It just seems just like not enough. You know what I mean? It's just this, and this is the update, you know? Going back and forth, picking people up. And the money's not even good. I mean, I could do a race right now. It says one minute 51 to get there. One minute 51, you could do a Harlem West and get like 30k instead of 1k, you know what I mean? And you get way more like money, way more levels. This is cool, like I said, if it was something on the side and there was like a main update, kind of made it'd be cool, but it's like a crazy taxi thing. You know, this is all taxis. Why can't we have like a an event where you're in a taxi and maybe you have to smash into as many items as possible and get a score well you know kind of something like that you know something to change it up this would be nice as something on the side but as a main dlc i'm not gonna lie boys it is it's quite disappointing you see 1500 bucks for for basically nothing i got three thousand dollars and then like you go through all this cutscene it's just longer and longer and longer and then we've got loot in front of us is this a gold bit of loot Oh, it is. Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, we've got, we got a gold bit of loot, which is fairly nice. But yeah, I mean, let, let's see what the motor pass like, things are actually about. Oh. Okay. What's... Hello? Hello? Please wait. Ah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think that's a very fitting end to the video there boys hopefully you guys enjoyed it like i said we will be going back to forza don't worry i've got two videos in the works i know i keep saying that but we will go back to there i'm just trying to switch up the content because like i said i want this channel to be content of all card games you know all new card games that come out so yeah we've got stuff like that coming out um yeah as you can see uh the update so far is it worth buying the motor pass no it isn't is it coming back to the crew too? Maybe, it depends. I mean, if you've done everything in the game, um, I I don't know, boys. I, maybe not, maybe not. It, it's not bad, well, I say, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. The motor pass is all right. The events so far, like, obviously there was a new summit that's coming out. Um, that's, I guess that's a positive. But as like, we've waited four months for this, I think. And, and this is the kind of update we're getting after four months of, of grinding, you know, grinding out the crew too. I mean, it just, it sucks. It, it, it's heartbreaking, boys. I mean, uh, why why can they add some more races in? You know what I mean? Like, I'd, I'd love it if they added more drift tracks, added new game modes. I mean, everyone said the, um, the chase was a bad motor pass i thought that was really good new events new things to do kind of spin-off ideas of other games in events which is really cool so you can basically play need for speed um what is it hot pursuit need for speed hot pursuit in the crew too and it's just the game mode it's not the whole game which i thought was awesome and then you got the stunt events you get to do stunts drive around in stunts awesome update really cool creative ideas then you've got the racing one which is i think last season's one 
where it's all different areas around the world, massive race tracks, different events, very cool, new, uh, just new events. And then you've got this, which all the other updates are really good. Yes, there was some bad battle pass stuff. For me, the battle pass stuff here is, is, is cool, it's different, it's all a theme, which I do like. But the problem is, is the events. I mean, the, we just done one there and I'm already getting bored of it. You know what I mean? There's, there's no, nothing to keep you gripped. There's nothing to keep you there, sort of thing. It's sort of like, hop on for five minutes, do it. Okay, basically it's going to be like that throughout the whole game. Get bored, log off. So yeah, that's what I think of the event was. I'm not trying to like diss the game or anything. I'm generally, I'm, you know what I mean? I, I just, I want to speak for the people and I think the people feel this. I've spoke to a few people about this update already and I, they, they have the same concerns, boys. Like I said, I'm not trying to like diss anyone. I'm not trying to go after Ubisoft. I'm not trying to hate. I'm, I'm, we're just saying it how it is. We're just disappointed. And and, and that's, I, I think I speak for most people when we say that. It's just a little bit lackluster after waiting four months for an update to come out. Anyway, hopefully if you guys enjoyed that, uh, give it a like. If you didn't dislike it, comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new. Um, share the video with your friends. This is hopefully get five views because <laughs> the channel has been on the decline. But yeah, that is me. Uh, that is, that's basically being the video. And uh, like always, boys, all love. See you in the next one.